race six, top of the stretch. Whitmere Leah, Fernhill Flight, fifth estate. Whitmere Tesla, Whistling Cricket, press time in Nova Scotia Beach. They're off and uh, pacing. Press time. Quick off the gate to grab the lead on the outside. Nova Scotia Beach is living quickly, looking for a good early spot at the rail. That's Woodmere Leah getting away third. Next in line fourth is uh, Fernhill Flight. Then away unhurried in five. That's fifth estate. Back in six. Woodmere Tesla has beaten one away. That's Whistling Cricket. As they race to the opening quarter, Nova Scotia Beach has taken the lead. But here comes Woodmere Leah now up looking to take over. As they arrive at the opening quarter, Woodmere Leah is the newest of leaders as they continue out of the 3 8 giving way. Nova Scotia Beach will sit the garden spot. Then at the rail is press time, traveling third. Next in line for Hill Flight is fourth, then gapped out in five. That's fifth estate. Back to the trailing duo as they continue off the top turn. Woodmere Tesla and Whistling Cricket. 28 and 2 was the quarter. Off the turn, they're single file as they approach the half, and up front, they're led by Woodmere Leah. Out there, a length and a half on the pocket sitter, Nova Scotia Beach. Then third. That's press time to the outside. Here comes Fernhill Flight. He'll try it first up from four. Then to the outside to pick up cover. Fifth Estate will travel second over fifth. Whitmere Tesla also leaving the rail. And now shooting the gap is Whistling Cricket as they continue out of the backstretch for the final time. They were past the midway point in 57-4. and four. They're on their way to three quarters. And Whitmere Leah is the one to reel in. Is out there by two and a half. Now on for second. Here comes Fernhill Flight dropping back. Nova Scotia Beach is third outside. And uh, now losing contact with the cover. Is fifth the state racing fourth. They race on over to the seven eights and Woodmere Leah striding out now to a four length advantage. Fernhill Flight looks to be in futile pursuit on the inside a third. That is Nova Scotia Beach. They continue off the top turn three quarters in one twenty seven flat. They turn down the lane and it's all Woodmere Leah here in race six. Uh, uncontested lead as they drive down the lane. It's all Woodmere Leah easiest of winners. Second for Hill Flight. And uh, third is Woodmere Tesla. Well, Island 150, six flat. Well, we're back to another blowout fashion victory here at Turo Raceway this evening. This one courtesy of Wood Mirlia as they blast off the gate here. Press time relinquished to the lead by stablemate Nova Scotia Beach from the Crow Burn. And Crow is on the right line and on the gas pedal from that point forward. Taking over to a quarter and 28 and 2. Continues to roll 57 and 4. Fernhill Flight came first over. Could not track as he dropped in to back into the inside. And Woodmere Leah crushes them here in race number six. And a good lifetime best victory here of 156 flat. Darren Crow had her ready to rock and roll here this evening. And she will return to the winner's enclosure next. Now back is the sixth race winner. Number one, Woodmere Leah. Bay Philly, three years by Roland Harry. Out of the Western Ideal Dam, oh, pretty Lee. 
Well, McKenneth and Susan Lothers of Three Miles Plains. Darren Crow trains and drives with Mir Leah, picking up a new lifetime mark of 156 flat. <laughs> 